there she is today on the practice court, cool as ever, just doing her thing. Canada's Leila Fernandez getting set for tomorrow's women's singles final at the U.S. Open. Can you believe it? Those who came today to watch her sure can. When she beat Osaka, I guess this, this girl has a big chance. Not least, Filipino-American Edward Gaddy. For him, the story of Fernandez with her Ecuadorian dad and her Filipino-Canadian mom has inspired his whole family. And you bet they watched her semi-final win last night. It's just unbelievable. I'm j jumping all over the place. I, I, I watched it on TV last night with my wife and my kids, and we we're all yeah, jumping. That semi-final thriller underlined another reason so many have fallen for Fernandez, the sheer joy she seems to exude. On the grounds of the Open today, with tickets for tomorrow's final in hand, Jeff and Jolene Funky, who flew in from Vancouver, underline they love her positive energy. Truly Canadian, really, <laughs> is really what it is to me. Like, she's just here for the fun. She's here to entertain the crowd. And, uh, yeah, it's just she's just a lot of fun to watch. And to win a Grand Slam tennis tournament. That as well, yeah. There is, of course, an obstacle in the path of Fernandez, Britain's Emma Raducanu, born in Toronto, like Fernandez, an upstart teen now on one of the biggest stages in tennis. They'll face each other for the championship tomorrow. A third Canadian-born player, Felix auger Aliasim, today fell just short of the final, losing in the men's semis. What a week for Canadian tennis, and especially Fernandez. These Montrealers will be in the stands tomorrow and have a message for her from Quebecers back home. I would say just enjoy the moment, have fun, and uh, be proud, because we are proud of what you're doing right now. So, Paul, usually you have sage political analysis, but let's talk tennis. What, what's your sense of the kind of match we'll, we'll see tomorrow? Um, a good one, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Um, look, these two, have, uh, these two have played each other before, Ian, a number of times uh, on the junior circuit. So they know, you know, they know how each other behaves on a tennis court. Um, but look, this ain't the junior circuit. Tomorrow, each of these players is going to be under more pressure than they've ever faced in their entire lives playing tennis. The winner will almost certainly be the one who best deals with that pressure. And it's worth noting that throughout this tournament, Fernandez has been adept at dealing with pressure. So we'll see. All right. Fun assignment, Paul. Thank you.